Hello, this is Greg from Mini Boy. On today's Behind the Song, we're going to talk about the song My Life, which was from the album Synth Pops. Here with me today, I have my wife, Renee Hart, as a special guest, um, because she actually wrote the lyrics to the song quite a while ago, and I wanted her to explain to you how she came up with this song and what inspired it, and just a little backstory about this song. So, go ahead. <laughs> Well, uh, this is the first and only song I've ever written. <laughs> uh, it was kind of funny. Of course, I was dating Greg oh, yes, gosh. way back in the day when, uh, before we were married. And um, I was driving to um, Awana's at the church I was going to that night. And um, I had just finished eating dinner at Taco Bell. And <laughs> I was... Driving to the church was just like 20 minutes away and this song literally all the words just like popped in my head So as I was driving um, Didn't have phones cell phones back there or anything I had to grab one of those Taco, Taco Bell napkins and try to write before I forgot them What uh, the lyrics were Wait, so you wrote them while you were driving? So, uh, yeah, so it just was enough to be able to keep it in my head, so by the time I got to the church, then I was able to write it out better. But I just felt like I, those words literally just all just came out all at one time, and they needed to get them written out. So when I got there, I wrote it out in a better form, still on a napkin, because that's all I had. <laughs> so then I had to um, go home onto the ancient, huge computers that we had and email it to, to Greg and I said I really like this song, it's, it just came out, it's really cool, I hope you can write some music to it. So um, I always said I wanted, I, hear, I heard it kind of getting really rocky and this and that, kind of maybe an Evanescence style, um, which I think this time when he did reimagine it, he got it a lot harder and um, did that in more of the way that I was thinking the song would be. So, Anyway, these words just came out. It's just really a story of how Christ gave us, he gave his life so that we could have life. Um, the chorus is, um, well, here's a part of it. It says, in my mind I do believe, in my heart I have received, and in my life you know what is best. I must learn to trust you with the rest. So the chorus is, without you I wouldn't be, oh wait, I'm sorry. Let's start up here. To craft a plan to save the world, to love enough, you came to die, so let's see him kind of dying on the cross, to die for me so I would have my life. And then without you, I wouldn't be, my life was given to me. Without love, I wouldn't be, my life was given to me. Without you, I wouldn't be, my life was given to me. Without love, I wouldn't be. So basically, you know, same thing. If Christ didn't die for us on the cross and his love for us, our lives would not mean anything. It would just be for, for nothing. So. Big, big difference. If you don't have Christ in your life, there really isn't much of a life. So, I, it just, it did, like I said, just kind of came out. So I was happy about that and how it all just kind of rhymed. Again, it was the only and probably last time I'll write a song because it's just not what I do. So I think it was definitely God given and the fact that it just came out of me. So, yeah. <laughs> so that's that. Excellent. And uh, so anyway, as she mentioned, the, the first time we wrote, I wrote or I recorded this, it was on synth pops. And uh, you know, I didn't have access to the types of sounds I had today, so it was more of an electronic sound. And uh, I never really was really happy with it, and that's why I wanted to reimagine it on this album. Now that I've got you know the guitars and the bass, and she really wanted it more uh, rock oriented, I guess. And so that's the song now identifies as a rock song. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> anyway, um, that's it. Uh, this uh, until next time. Um, we'll talk about the next song hopefully tomorrow. <laughs>